morning from the floor this evening. This is Chris Robinson with your grain comment here today as we're looking for opportunities heading into Thursday's USDA report. What three things are we looking at? We've got new four-year lows in corn, wheat, and beans. Look at the charts. Uh, new crop, December wheat, December corn, November soybeans, all making new lows for the move today. Um, re yield reports from the Delta, uh, close to 200 bushel corn in some areas, you know, where historically they maybe would get 100, 120. You've got yields in the beans, you know, 70 to 80 to 90, where in the past they were happy to get 40 to 50. Um, Thursday, the USDA will come out with a, a new um, number as far as what they're looking at for, for yields. Uh, that could be a game changer. If you flash back to last month's report, they came out and we actually got kind of a bearish number, but it really wasn't bearish enough to pound on it. And the market rallied. You had about a 30 cent rally in corn and you had about a 50 cent rally in wheat. It looked like we, wheat actually might be starting to, to do something. Uh, that's all falling out of bed. So Thursday, the 11th, 11 o'clock uh, central time, the report gets, is released. Um, You've got the funds. That's the final thing. Where are the funds? The funds are still long some corn. Uh, now, earlier in the summer, they were long 250. They've pared that down to between 50 and 60, depending on what your estimates are at. They're still long corn. They're short about 50,000 contracts of Chicago wheat. And they're short probably about 20,000 contract of beans after having been long earlier this summer, you know, over 150. So we're looking at that number. You may get a buy the rumor, sell the fact move. In other words, we may get a bearish number and then spike higher. Uh, probably the best way to play it uh, would be to do uh, some shorter dated options because then you'll catch some volatility, but unlike um, futures, you're not gonna get stopped out. So you can limit your risk and you can maximize your reward potential. Take a look at, uh, they have October dated options. Those have 17 days of life. They'll be like a bottle rocket. It doesn't matter if you, Whatever your opinion is, if you're betting that it's going to continue to go lower or you're betting that we're going to have a spike, uh, you can put some very uh, relatively cheap trades on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cents a bushel to try and uh, profit off of whatever happens on that report on Thursday. So that's really about it. We're getting ready for the USDA. Watch the funds positions and new lows here today as we're searching for a bottom in the grains. From the floor of the CME, this is Chris Robinson. Have a great day.